was a guy you ran over. Uh, there's parking those parks and on the side of the street here. Hey, Pitar. They're walking up now. Hey, yo, Bella, wait up, wait up. Good Bella? <sighs> this is not Bella. Yeah, it's Bella. Bella. Yeah, it's Bella. I changed my hair. Yeah, yeah. Bella They're coming up. <laughs> yeah, I was letting them know that we we're here. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah. Come inside. Just you, Bella? No, they coming. Shortly. Is it always this? Where y'all at? Come on, you're getting impatient. Bella have to be so fast though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Are we? We're coming. We walked slow. We didn't run. <sighs> I'm gonna go for her. Her husband came back. Fiance. Yeah. Is her is her husband the Vagos? You like your husband? Fuck, man. I do. I do. And fiance. Uh. I don't think we'll ever get married. No? Eternally engaged. <laughs> All right. This All is happy. Right, hey, yo, what's good? What's good, what's good? Uh, yeah. Chilling, brothers. Hey, taking it easy, man. Trying to, uh, you know, just make the most out of or figure out this whole situation we got on our hands. So, so uh, you know, yeah. I know what happened. I heard you guys came down and, uh, you know, Oh, nice message to Frankie. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, uh, you know, I don't know what Frankie's got himself all uh, caught up in and involved in, and it doesn't concern me overly much as long uh -huh. as I can maintain my family's uh, safety. Yeah. Uh, so the question that you know, or the the message that got put to me is that you know, Frankie. Uh, was told by us and by our jefe that if he were to act, he would bad to, time to uh, wake back up. He were to black out and he would not do this on case of the Vagos, etc., etc. And obviously, we also understand, you know, there is the other side of it where you are part of a gang, you are part of a gang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're all on that page. We, we do understand. So I guess the question here is what can we work out? To, uh, to isolate this incident or to remove the Vagos from this situation. Mm -hmm. As long as Frankie doesn't get involved with, uh, with the hunting crew, with the roosters and the goons and Speedy and Lang and all of them, we have no issue. It's more of kind of just letting Frankie know. I know he's, uh, he's trying to protect his loved one, Sid. And, um, you know, I she's been wearing yellow. I don't know if she's a part of you guys, but every time I see her, she's wearing... She's wearing yellow colors. So yeah, as long as they stick out of it, there is no issue. The, the whole point of you guys even getting shot was more of, hey, Frankie, open your eyes. You know, you might you you might care about Sid, but there's other people you should you should care about too, you know? So if you're gonna fight over Sid and get involved into business where your nose doesn't belong, there's other loved ones back home. That, you know, can face the consequences too. Because we, we have no issues with you guys. We just don't want Frankie putting his nose when we're uh, when we're going after roosters, Cerberus, and um, the goons, you know? So okay. to be honest, there's no issue as long as Frankie doesn't get involved in those convoys and uh, those hunting parties. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So I can perhaps see a few solutions. Mm-hmm. So you say that there's these hunting parties, yeah? Yeah. Uh, if Frankie were able, well, not if, Frankie is an employee of uh, Rooster's Rest, yeah? Mm hmm So if he's he's on the book, like, fully registered, right, as a mm -hmm. security guard even. So mm -hmm. if Frankie is at Rooster's Rest uh, and he's not wearing yellow and he's involved in something like this, is that going to be a problem for the Vagos? I mean, are you guys a gang or a security company? Uh, we're a gang, but I'm talking about Frankie. You know, it's a simple yeah. question. It's just if Frankie wants to work and that's his job 
as long as he's not hunting you guys. Is he, if that, he's working at security, I mean, like if he's working at roosters and doing an actual proper job and not convoying and hunting, I have no issue if he's doing his normal work. Okay, that's uh, that's something to be you know appreciated and you know and considered. But the uh, second he starts hunting or joining them in convoys or this or that, the second he leaves roosters to come shoot us, then it's an issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. Now, I know you say you have no problem with us, but there are, you know, a couple of family members here who did get shot down because of all of this, right? And mm -hmm. I understand, you know, I understand the point you were trying to make. And I also understand that, uh, you know, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be upfront here. And I understand that you're not scared of us because of uh, some recent happenings in the Vagos. Mm -hmm. So I respectfully come to you to talk, I guess, and to ask that you don't do that kind of shit whilst we're trying to do this. We and don't get your you boy involved in yeah, yeah, our yeah. business. It goes the same way, you know? The whole 100%. point, and I get you're saying, oh, he was blacked out or this or that. If he's coming and convoying or joining hunting parties, regardless if he's blacked out or not, it will fall on you guys. The same oh, way, understood. if one of my boys do shit to you guys, I'm going to back them and it falls under me. You know, yeah. my boys yeah, represent right. me. I don't know how it works in the South side, but my boys clearly represent me and what we stand for, you know? And if my boys get into shit, I'm going to back that shit and I'm going to stand by it, you know? And I, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll deal, with it to, uh, deal with it internally if I need to, but whatever my people do resembles my gang, you know? So I that's why what Frankie... But when Frankie's been getting involved with these, with these, with these convoys or these, these chases or these hunting parties, it came back to you guys. Because what no, Frankie told me, he's trying to protect his loved one. But while he's trying to protect his loved one, he's putting his other loved ones at risk. After you guys were shot, I called Frankie to go pick up his loved ones. You know, we didn't rob you guys. We didn't do shit. It was just more to show Frankie there's a bigger picture to it. It has nothing to do with you guys rebuilding this or that, anything like that, you know? No, understood. Entirely understood. No, no, that's not, and you know, that's not a, that's not, you know, uh, that's not where I'm, you know, kind of trying to come from, right? I'm mm -hmm. making the point, I'm making the point, uh, you know, right here, right now that, that, uh, you know, you could have, uh, look, you know, and you didn't have to, and I'm not telling you how to run your shit. But, you know, uh, if you would come to us and had to talk with us uh, before not, not any even gonna blood do had it. to be shed, or especially any blood of people that, you know, weren't necessarily involved with things, I think that may have been somewhat of a, you know, uh, an easier way to, to deal with this. Because I can sit here and be political, of course, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, do what's best for my gang. But there are, you know, when you shoot someone, people do get, you know, upset about it, right? So, yeah. So we don't want to lay down, fool. Like we're not, we're not saying we want to fight you or some shit. But you know, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't just let us be walked over. I can't lay down to just, uh, you know, being shot at. So that's why I come to you and I think, you know, like, can we get some level of respect here? And we're gonna see what we can do about the situation. Yeah, just make sure Frankie stays out of the the hunting parties, and we got no issue. Mm -hmm. the, I like you guys. The respect is still there. It's just unfortunate sometimes you got to do things you don't want to do. You know. But as long as Frankie stays out of our business, I'm more than happy, you know? Okay. I got no blood, no, no bad blood with you guys. Just make sure Frankie stays out of uh, the hunting party, stays out of our business, you know? All right, man. We'll talk about it. And yeah, like, uh, hopefully it yeah. all works out, huh? Hopefully. Totally. All right. Thank you for meeting us and, you know, doing it cordially and, and not a... Uh... Not being on that smoke. We appreciate you. There you are. So wh right. Which one of y'all married to Bella? Oh. Hey. How you doing? Oh, she's like this. Me. All right. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Patar. Appreciate you. Everybody appreciate y'all. Take care. I'm going to walk this way now. I reckon you got that, to be honest, dude. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that's all you, bro. I can't lie. Let me, let me, uh, Pata. Oh, okay, okay, we're going back. Where are we going? Come here, man. Sidebar. Brother got 
his fucking he's got a little section with his lower back hanging out. Look, you see his tramp stamp. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I love that shit, bro. You guys don't look at your homies' tramp stamps. It is a pretty nice tramp stamp, huh? Oh, tramp stamp. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've been trying to be disrespectful. What the fuck is this? What's the word for? Uh, I can talk some shit too, but I mean, you know, I've been trying to be respectful. Why am I so quiet? Oh my god, there we go. I said you don't. I said you don't look at your homies' tramp stamps. What's the plan, Santi? Eternally engaged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you came to a meeting with no cuenta? Yeah, his ass is very good, right? From who? From who? I, I don't you think it's like the best ass ever? The other day, trying to hurt a fucking Frenchman. Come on, bro, check that out. No disrespect. Okay, okay. Fair enough. People about to get clapped. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Dandy. I appreciate it. And everybody else who came in. What happened? I didn't ask you. I said maybe. Right, time, to, time to get some food. Yep. Who, who so needs food? Who needs food? He needs food. Oh no. Uh, he'll probably just go and get it himself. He's okay. All right. Okay. That's some yummy ooh. Some of them don't know to go and grab as much food as they can, you know? Mm. Last the Get day. Get that. Get that. If we're going to a business where you see the food truck come around to your business, like you ever seen that Watch before? Oh, yeah, like yeah. The food yeah. truck will go to a business and be like, oh, yeah, would well, you want lunch, dinner? Like, yep, that's yep, what we yep. fucking need. Yeah, we don't have that. Yeah, one really. Uh, Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. Always the best are, food, too. Are delivering food around. You know, Chihuahua hot dogs are open, right? No, I didn't know that. That's it's something boring. that needs to be Chihuahua, you telling you. How much money that make doing that, Doc? Oh, he makes insane money. Day, you know. Like you just go to every like every gang area, yeah. dog, and just say like, yeah, "Yo, you need opened, food." Like he opened damn. his store, uh, his store, and he's delivering as well. So you can call him and he'll bring you a shitload years, of food. Still on the same shit. I mean, even if he was just yeah, the hot dog dude. He has a little stand, you know. Right. He goes around with a van and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, yo, you make good money doing that. Yeah, it's Gordon, the real estate guy, man. Gordon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next time you okay. see him, let him know that he, uh, you know, if, even if he just starts driving around, man, to like yeah, different sure. crew areas, he'll make good money on that. Uh -huh. What's he selling hot dog for? Yo, a did, you, did you guys have a yellow buffalo that you pulled up in? No. Uh, no. no. Hot dogs? Ah, I don't yeah. remember. Uh, not it's a like buffalo. 400, the, oh, the whole meal. Was, just, oh, uh, just look out, 300 some shit. Outside, so I was wondering if the thing is, though, right? Is that at the time, oh, no, 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 money. If you're hungry, man, you just buy it, right? You're hungry. Yeah, they look greasy, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Shit, I like that. Oh, hey you good? All right, I want pee. Uh, boss. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Good to see you, boys. I mean, uh, we're still waiting for Happy. Yeah. Yeah, your boy's up there talking, you? right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought they were there. Yeah, right. I thought they're right up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought they left. That's why I said bye bye. Pay attention. Oh, okay. See a newbie. Hmm. Nah. I'm paying attention to the other guys, not the other guys. He's, he's been, <laughs> been away for a little while. Uh, 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 <laughs> he's the same guys. All right. I know he sees all the yellow. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> It ain't funny bit, all the time. Right, trying to get back into the swing of things. Ruining relationship oh, isn't funny all the time. Fuck. Because my dad. Hey, y'all take care, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all take care. lads. See you later. I know Appreciate y'all. Sound mushy. Twelve. No, there were eleven. Ten down, one up on our right, motherfucker. See, that's enough, right? Yeah. T tell me, tell me the colors of their t-shirts. The only reason I was going to fucking even do anything is to try and get the kid and apple out there because they were on, par on parole and I don't want to see anyone going to fucking jail like this, you know? All right. Where we're the fuck is that so Don't here. get it wrong. Don't get me wrong, Frankie. Just... Like, one thing that I've, I've said to Santi and you and everyone is like, personal shit, bro. Like, I, I, I ain't tripping. I ain't ordering you to stand down, fool, but you just got to know, like, you know, 